post harvest loss hermetically sealing of lentil seeds with locally available jerry cans in this video we will explain how to avoid insect damage when storing lentils after harvest this can be done by storing your lentils in an airtight jerry can there are many different varieties of lentils that you grow in your field there are also many new and improved varieties of lentil suitable for your field that can provide you with higher yields regardless of the lentil variety you grow the storage process detailed in this video works well with all varieties of lentils brookets are one insect that attack lentils there are also many other insects that attack lentils brookets bore holes through the lentils that reduce their weight quality and chances of germination that allows the lentils to grow by storing your lentils in an airtight jerry can most brookets and other insects that attack your lentils will die and you will be able to keep your lentils safe for eating seed or sale if you do not have a jerry can available you can use any dry sealable container of a similar size as long as the lentils are packed into the container as tight as possible the container size should be at least 5 liters the optimum size is 10 to 20 liters it is important that the jerry can you use has never held any hazardous materials such as fuel or pesticides since the residue of these liquids can never be fully removed and can harm human health You can safely store your lentils for up to 6 months if the jerry can is never opened and if you are using your lentils for seed. However, if you store them longer than this, the germination rate may go down. Lentils that are to be used just for food and not for seed can be stored for as long as you want. This can be as little as a few months or over a year. However, When you open the jerry can you must start eating the contents as soon as possible and you must finish the can within a couple of weeks Before you store your lentils in airtight jerry cans you need to do the following First dry the lentils well in the sun on a tarpaulin or dark sheet of plastic to make sure that they have a low moisture content After that sort the lentils carefully removing the ones that are already damaged find a clean dry jerry can and pour the lentils inside the can the size of the jerry can can be between 10 to 20 liters and they should hold between 10 kg and 20 kg of lentils after you have filled the jerry can to the top shake it so that you can be sure that the lentils are tightly packed add more lentils if there is space It is very important that the jerry can be completely filled so that very little air remains. If too much space is left, the brookets will not die. Once you are sure that lentils are well packed, cover the top with a small piece of soft plastic bag. Make sure the plastic is free of holes and as an extra precaution, you can fold the plastic so you get two layers. Seal the lid of the jerry can tightly. and your lentils will be safe from insect attack remember to level each jerry can with the date it was sealed and with the intended use of the lentils either for food or for planting once the jerry can is sealed do not open it for at least a month so that any brookets will be killed it is important that you never open the jerry can until the lentils are needed for planting eating or selling if you open the jerry can the container will have a new supply of air and some brookets eggs may hatch remember if the lentils are to be used for food you can keep them in the can as long as you want however if you plan to planting the lentils do not store them for longer than 6 months in the jerry cans By following this method you can prevent insect damage to your lentils after harvest. This will mean more lentils for you and your family to eat. Better quality lentils that face a higher price at the market and improved lentil seed that can produce a good crop.